Hey darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Sofa over at Royal Appleberry. And why am I using this? <laughs> because um, I've had my little containers like these for about almost four years and they're starting to crack. Yeah, so <laughs> I threw a bunch of them away because I master batched and that one was leaking. So this is the only one that I had that didn't have oils in it. So um, yeah, that's why I'm using it. So, okay. Today I am going to try, I'm not going to be lazy, and I'm actually really going to try to do a straight line pour. Yes, I am. Um, the colors I am using is Rustic Essentials Pistachio Mica. If I'm holding everything like I have a claw, <laughs> it's silly because my wrist is getting better, but not quite there yet. Um, I'm using Rustic Essentials Starburst Sparkle Mica, and I'm using Rustic Essentials my favorite almost ice makeup and the fragrance I am using is Ocean Wave by Nurture's Garden Nature's Garden yeah <laughs> I don't know why I insist on Nurture's and Nature's Garden I always try to put them together for some stupid reason so um Kenny's actually not using white this time scary I know but um yeah I'm just gonna make it Six, la six layers. Hopefully it's turned out well. I don't know why I'm on this beach theme, but hey, that's how I'm feeling. I'm trying to invite the summer to hurry up and get its buns here. So, excuse me, my little dirty scale here. Like I said, we were master batching. I love Gabe. I swear, Gabe is awesome sauce. I love him anyway, of course, but um, he came down here and just blew out that master batch so fast. He master batch. 13 loaves for me. I started, but it was like Strugglesville. He's just like, you know what? Get yourself out of here. So, <laughs> he uh, ended up doing it for me, which is lovely. So, thank you, darling. I really appreciate you so much. 22. I'm trying to think, do I want to separate? No. No. And this uh, fragrance, it does accelerate. So, I'm kind of happy that it does. Who says that? <laughs> But for those of you who want to try a um, a straight line pour, uh, using a fragrance that accelerates is best because if you don't, you are going to be waiting forever. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and dump the whole thing there. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Don't know why I want to do it. I just do. I'm feeling inspired. I told you guys, and by the time you guys see these videos, I will be back to work. And today is April 21st, so this will be ready May 21st, and it's probably past that. Um, so yeah, go to the store if you want it. It should be there if it's any more left. So it's very beachy, very clean. I think it's gonna turn out lovely. And I'm pretty much selling you guys the soap before I even made it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what next? What next though? <sighs> oh, fresh loaves, master batch oils is just amazing. I love it. I do. Just because you know you can just work it out at least 13 loaves worth. <laughs> and then once it gets to like the last few loaves, I start to get sad. <laughs> like, yeah, why do we have any more? So. I'm gonna, I got my math. Hopefully it's good math. <laughs> and um, I'm going to try to do this properly. If I don't know how fast this fragrance accelerates. Hopefully it does fast. If it doesn't, then I'm just gonna make another soap in between a remake. So yeah, let's get this all blended in and then we'll get started. Look at that. So, um, it's so weird, that fragrance in the bottle I really couldn't smell it but now that I've poured it it smells amazing it smells really really good it's so fresh and beachy so that's why I felt like this um would be perfect for this color scheme that I'm doing so hopefully okay too much just pour a little dash back this is my very first time doing a real, or well, attempting a real straight line pour. So I'm doing it separately. No lie or nothing, man. 
I'm just separating it off and then I'll separate my lye and pour it to each individual cup because I believe that's how you're supposed to do it. But you know, the lazy side of me always kicks in. It's just like, Meh. that's too much work. Let's skip that step. <laughs> so I'm using three colors, but it'd be six layers. So um, I could just use the same cups, I think. I think. Hopefully this fragrance doesn't uh, like accelerate too fast before I can clean out the cup well. So, let's see what we got now. Perfect. And then, one more. Uh, yeah, I think instead of just waiting for each layer. Now, like I said, it depends on how fast it sets up because if it takes a minute to set up then I'll just make another soap in between which you guys won't see because you've already seen it I'm sure so there we go keep pouring 7.7 Alright guys, so um, I do believe this is going to take a minute. Well, I know believe about it. It's going to take a minute. So enjoy the music and I will bring you guys back if I run into any uh, hiccups or when I'm almost done. time um i just watched a jamie and nikki vlog and this layer took 18 minutes to set up and it's still has a wee bit of a jiggle but i'm gonna go ahead and um hopefully by the time i get this uh mixed up together then it'll be solidified hard enough for me to pour it on. my lines are pretty straight i got a little dip here very tiny and just a little teeny piece over here but i did pretty good i actually made another soap while i was waiting like i said i would so this is just um my oils and creams and all that and i went on and put the color in it already let me make sure i'm doing the correct one and then this is my lye water i could have just weighed out the lye each time but i just figured just put it in separate cups and just keep it simple that way i didn't forget or get confused or whatever but um yeah 
so it's um it doesn't set up as fast like when you first put the fragrance in you'll get like this ricey effect but it doesn't set up as fast as I thought it would I was hoping that it would set up faster but it does not um so yeah it's about 18 minutes per layer that's just bubbles from being in water now I just think that like I'm gonna have too much but that's okay so I'm gonna get my fragrance in next and then wait another 18 minutes so I guess I'll watch a Patricia Bright vlog <laughs> and then um do the last layer it's after 10 o'clock at night I can't believe I don't know what's up with me lately since I've been off work I've been making soaps pretty late this glare is like crazy. Okay. So yeah. Um, fragrance doesn't accelerate that fast. I could do like a full soap with swirls and everything. If I. Um, move pretty fast. And I've been like accurate as. Hellith on this one. <laughs> Normally I'm just like. Oh, we're going to eyeball it. <laughs> I've been pretty accurate with all my measurements. Look at me. No. I don't know if I'll be making another one of these. And that's the reason why I had it. Because they do take a long time. They really do. Um. So I don't know. Maybe like. I don't know. It will have to be much earlier in the day. For me to do another one. I do like the look of them. They're gorgeous. But it is a quite lengthy process. But these colors are stellar. And my color inspiration was a baby's hat. Um, it was these exact same colors. In the same uh, order. And my colors just came out perfect. Like a perfect match to um, the picture that I found. So. And I've been wanting to do one of these type of layer soaps for a very, very long time. If you look at Design Seeds, they'll have like the blocks of colors. And I've always wanted to. I've just been not really wanting to um j deal with the weight all right so i'm gonna keep stirring this all right just wanted to make sure that that fragrance was good and incorporated so now i'll go ahead and pour this layer in and i don't know how this yellow is going to work because first it's very, very loose and then it goes to, you know, thickening up. And I can't believe I actually, everything's working in my favor tonight. Can't believe I actually did like this um, spatula thingy to keep it from breaking through. And I did it right. <laughs> Check me out. I'm on to something new. All right. This green is just love. I love this green. I really really do so the next layer is my last layer which is my yellow and I would like to texture it I don't know how this is going to work because this is an accelerating fragrance so we'll see So this is my last and final layer. Um, this one took about 15 minutes to set up. Um, so in total it was two hours to make this soap. And I see people do those very thin tiny layers and like I said before, <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I admire you but you are nuts. <laughs> There's no way. Um, 36, 48 hours to do it. That's, I just, no. Mm -mm, nope. Kenny does not have the patience for that. So, I don't know. Like, I, I really haven't sat and watched the process of this set up, setting up. 
so I don't know like how much time I'll have before it goes really thick on me for me to texture the top I just don't know anything I don't even know how I'm gonna get this well I guess I don't know I'll play it by ear see how it works and my wrist is very angry with me right now <laughs> I think I pushed it a little bit oh I don't want to put that in there that's dried so well not dry soap but soap that has thickened up so I guess I'll stand here and play with this that was my lye water my last build lye water and of course I'm gonna stick blend it I just want to hand stir it first I really don't even care if that thickens up because I kind of want it to but it's not going to stay this way um yeah it's not going to stay this way just kind of stir out some of these air bubbles and then pour the last bit of my fragrance oil this is such a nice very very pleasant fragrance it is like I said very beachy is clean it's um it's just like a perfect combination like strength it's not super strong it's not super light it's just lovely even Gabe came down and was like wow that smells really nice like I say in the bottle I wasn't I'm like it smells good but but uh, once you pour it it smells fantastic so it does rice as soon as you pour like I said before but if you stir it comes out and it doesn't take much hand stirring to you know coax it out either so I am going to stick blend this one this layer because I want it to thicken up so I can get it on this soap and get done because <laughs> I'm ready to go just relax now it's almost 11 o'clock at night but um I did have fun making it this won't be my last for sure um but it might be some time in between or like I said I'll just wait until it's daytime to do this so um what you're seeing on my stick blender is nothing but water uh, I keep it in a cup of water until I'm ready. See, this fragrance is not too bad. I don't know why. Well, it wasn't a lot, but it was a few people that said that, you know, it uh, thickens up pretty fast. It's a quick accelerator, but it really isn't. I've had fragrance oils that move way faster than this. So, I'm not even going to put that back in there. So, I guess I don't want to agitate it too much because I do want to get that first pour on there. So, it'll be nice and level. Which, it ain't much room to pour it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just stirring out some of those air bubbles. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I am so fucking happy you found me. Thank you for tuning in. And watching me be uh, adventurous. <laughs> uh, your first time watching me make soap. And this is my first time making uh, a straight line or straight layer or whatever it's called. A straight pour. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. I'm getting loopy. Okay. So. Uh, oops. Okay, Kenny. Um, it's a little too late for you to go making messes now. So. I saw that little speck when I was first. I don't know what that is. When I was first mixing it. I got you, you little booger. Okay. So I'm gonna shake that down. Okay. So I guess we wait. <laughs> like I said, I don't know how fast this is gonna thicken up but uh hopefully this is such a brilliant yellow ah, i nailed it this time i really did um let me bang this down first with this color but yeah the colors they came out exact to what was my inspiration i mean i i did good this time i really did i'm just not gonna get enough of using this hand but isn't that crazy like even though you might be right hand 
use your left hand the most and vice versa well it's true for me I don't know about everybody else but I think the average person that's the truth for them but it's just like my left hand is just like seriously just leave me alone so I'm gonna put my brace back on in a minute it's not my hand really it's my wrist so yeah um guess I just kind of sit and watch this because I don't want it to thicken up without me being there to pay attention to what's going on because like I said I do want to texture this top and I feel like this is going to be one of those that like right now it's fluid and then you like batch your eyelashes and then it's like thick <laughs> so I kind of I had an idea to do a top Ouch. a layer that was going to be tall and fluffy and yellow but now I'm like I don't know do I want just a little flat top probably not yeah I did good with those lines they're pretty darn straight if I must say so myself <sighs> and I had to use my tall skinny clear mold just because I needed to see how straight they were God bless you for the ones that don't have an acrylic mold that you can see through and you still get straight lines. You're a genius. <laughs> Cause oh, honey, that ain't me. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to gradually drizzle this on here. And hopefully it'll continue to hold its own weight. Cause I just, I would really like to get all of this on here. Um, just because it's my last layer and I want them all to be the same height. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. And I think I'm going to put some, yeah, some blue sea salt. Wherever that's at. It's around here somewhere. On it. Down the middle. And that'll be the only thing I do for the top once I texture it. See you. Pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me do this. So I'll just uh, come back when I can texture it. So I don't know if it's going to hold any peaks, but it is starting to thicken up just a little bit. So I figured I should probably pop back in before it's the point I can't do anything with it. You know what I mean? So right now, I'm just kind of trying to even everything out so I don't have too much on one end and not the other, like this one. That's the great thing about having a solid color top. You can move it around as much as you like and it does not matter. No muddy colors here. That is really pretty. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it like that. Now how would I? How would I? How would I? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I like what's happening here. I do. I do. I like that. Oh, this is working with me. Not against me, but finally with me. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Let me see. I need a paper towel. I just want to get that over there. Yeah, okay. So this is one of those fragrances that uh, it's nice and smooth and then bam, it's like really thick and then you almost can't move it. So I'm going to kind of Speed this along. Yep, because it's starting to get thicker. So I'm glad I did bring you guys back when I did. This is a very pretty soap. It really is. I'm proud of myself. I am. Because I've been showing out <laughs> with my soap making skills. But now, I just want to try some new stuff. And make good use of my time since I'm off work. So, now, I don't know 
Okay. Yeah, I want to make it look like waves in a sense just because it is a beachy fragrance. Mm, I don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to push that so far. Oh, I've never been this quiet <laughs> throughout a video. <laughs> Um, but I'm just concentrating, that's all. And um, do stick around because the cutting video is going to be attached to this video. I just want to make sure I got everything I wanted because this is not going to be one you can go back and play with in a few minutes. Because it is getting thicker and thicker. that's all I'm gonna do to it I think let me look at the other side yeah that's that's lovely I like it I have no idea what I'm gonna name this soap mm, this is just gonna be when I cut it then I'll figure it out so let me clean up this side one more time I'm just barely dragging my fingernail along the side all right now I gotta find my blue sea salt and we will be finished with this puppy. Found the blue sea salt. And it is actually colored with almost ice mica. So fun, fun, fun. So I'm just kind of crunching my fingers together and letting it drop out. I just want to, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Yep, perfect. Perfect! Ah, I love that. I do. That that yellow is just seriously doing something for me. It is so creamy. Oh, it's so creamy. My new recipe is extremely creamy. It makes me want to grab a spoon and just kind of, but you know, that would be just real dumb. And you probably hear me scream. But anywho, um, stick around because the cutting is coming up right now. Okay, so it's like everything that's happening in this video except for soap cutting. Because then my memory card was full. Jeez Louise. But anyway. So yeah. That smells so nice. Man that smells nice. I can't believe. I, I cannot believe I pulled this off guys. That's crazy. <laughs> See what happens when you actually do something the right way. <laughs> you get great results. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am. I um. You guys already saw it. But I cut my mermaid soap. And I. I just about lost my mind because <laughs> it was so gorgeous. If you guys haven't watched that video, then I will um, put it on the end cards. That way you can just click on the screen and it'll take you right to it. But that soap is absolutely stellar. I'm still just, I can't even get over how beautiful that turned out. But um, yeah, I am jazzed to bits. Really, I am. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. Gabriel's been kind of fussing at me because I'm supposed to be not doing any work because of my wrist. And I feel, I just honestly feel like I'm mentioning my wrist in every video, but oh well, whatever, it's my life. Um, but yeah, he's been fussing at me. He told me don't do anything soap related today, but hard head and all that. But I am not pushing the limits today. I'm really just cutting soap. I don't know if I'm going to make one. I really want to. My goal was to make a soap every day um, for the two weeks that I'm off on medical leave, but um, I don't know. I think I need to take a break today. However, this soap is absolutely stellar. I really do love it like so much. And you can just draw inspiration from just about anything, guys, anything. Like I said, I'm making my inspiration for this was a baby's hat a striped baby's hat and I mean the colors are dead on I don't even know how I pulled that one off thanks rustic essentials because <laughs> I really didn't have to do any tweaking they just have the the right colors so lovely absolutely lovely
If you guys like this soap, be sure to give a thumbs up. And the poll question for today and how you take those polls is going to be an eye that pops up in the right hand corner. Um, I think I, <laughs> I always get confused <laughs> which way is the right for me because the camera is actually facing down. But anywho, there's going to be an eye that pops up in the right hand corner and then you can click on it. It's really interactive and you can uh, be a part of the poll voting session. So um, today's poll question is... Would you like to see me do this soap in a different color scheme? Um, yeah. Go ahead and click that I and answer that question. Yes, no, or doesn't matter to me. <laughs> um, oh, that's nice. And also, too, I'm going to have you guys give me some suggestions. You can take the poll, but in the comments section also, give me some suggestions of what colors you would like to see. Um, we can do say six colors um don't give me 13 colors because it ain't gonna happen honey <laughs> i think my max is probably six colors because it is a very lengthy process but i do enjoy it um and again i will attempt to do it during the day and see how i feel as far as how long it takes to make this soap but that is gorgeous absolutely <laughs> it's just something i don't even understand like how something so simple can be so pretty the last few soaps that I've been making that have been very simple soaps, no designs, just a solid color. They have been probably some of my best soaps besides that mermaid soap. <laughs> In my eyes, nothing's better than that mermaid soap. But uh <laughs> um like my beguiling, it's that soap just I'm still madly in love with that soap. Oh, that's what that was. I'm like, <laughs> what in the hell did was that noise? Seriously, it freaked me out. Like I don't <laughs> anyway. But <laughs> um I had a soap kind of propped up. And it fell, but I don't think it did any damage. It just kind of took a little spill. But yeah, so there we go. If you like this soap, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I will be making this again. Don't forget to take the poll and leave me some suggestions of color schemes in the comment section. Um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. I probably already said this, but I would like to welcome you again and thank you for watching. And um, if you would like to get notifications of whenever I post new videos, oh, like what is that? All you got to do is hit that bell and um, rush right on over here and see what I'm up to. There's always a new soap making video on Sundays. Um, yeah, so love hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. And for my stinking awesome crew that's always here, um, you guys know I love you so much. Oh, yes, and if you want to become a part of that stinking awesome crew, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. So I will see you guys in the next making video. Bye-bye.